what about race? This shows the distribution of the uninsured uh, by the total population by race, and this is the distribution of the uninsured population. So blacks and Hispanics are overrepresented in the uninsured group. So if we reduce that part of the pie, um, we'll be addressing inequity in um, insurance rates. This is taken from a very cool study from the Urban Institute that did these uh, simulations to say what would, what would the uninsurance rates be in 2016 for people without insurance, and then if we apply the insurance expansion rules, um, we can look at uh, their insurance rates by race. Uninsured um, for whites, there was no ACA, 13%, almost 20% for blacks, a whopping 31% for the Latino population, 17.3% for Asian Pacific Islanders, and 25% for the American Indian population. And then if you apply current law for the Affordable Care Act, um, that, law, that rate has gone down to 6.3 for whites, 11.3 for blacks, 19. Okay, so I'm just, what I'm going to do is show you these numbers in a different way here. Let's look at who gained by how much. So the percentage point gain for whites, uh, 6.8 percentage points, blacks gained more, and Latinos gained a whopping 12.2%. So we get greater gains for... Um, uh, uh, racial and ethnic uh, minority groups. But another way to look at it is to look at the gaps. So this is relative uninsurance rates compared to the white population. So a uh, no ACA, 6.75 percentage points higher for blacks. Here are the gaps beforehand. And see the gaps have shrunk for blacks. The gaps have shrunk more for Latinos. Um, and so uh, we're moving in the right direction. But there are still uh, issues, things that we need to accomplish if we're going to eliminate and move more towards uh, addressing these disparities. And the, most, the, the lowest hanging fruit here is Medicaid coverage. All right, so as most of you are probably aware, states can opt in to, um, to expanding Medicaid to cover these adults, and 23 states did not. It turns out that these states uh, are disproportionately uh, populated by African Americans without health insurance. So this same study shows if all the states that didn't expand expanded, African Americans, the gap between blacks and whites would drop an, an additional 